Hi guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Paduan. We're back to our latest analysis for this Sunday through Tuesday, June 4 to 6, 2023. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and uh, Avenue Plaza Hotel. Now let's begin with our update. What's in store in our country when it comes to the weather conditions and upcoming tropical cyclones so far for the past uh, days uh, tropical cyclone betty has just uh, just left par uh, two nights ago and it's now uh, it's now gone okay it's just in uh, an area of a uh, subtropical low up there in the Aleutian islands and uh, the weather across the philippine islands has dramatically improved and we are now back to our usual hot sunny weather in the morning, uh, good weather, fair weather, and in the afternoon and evening, the usual uh, afternoon or uh, evening rain showers and thunderstorms. And right now we have established um, monsoon trough connected uh, with two low pressure areas which has formed during the past few days. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Here's the latest graph set that we created you know, this afternoon. So here we go. We have two LPAs that we are observing uh, during the past few days. We have the one here, 98W, to the east of the Philippine Islands, outside of PAR, uh, very close to YAP, and still organizing with these broad uh, rain bands. And uh, we have here the monsoon trough embedded, okay, below these LPAs, and connecting uh, to another LPA to the west of the Philippine Islands. This was once the monsoon, or the monsoon rain bands, affecting the western sections of the Visayas, Mimaropa, and some portions of western Luzon, after uh, Tropical Storm Betty left uh, the Philippine area of responsibility. This was the uh, monsoon clouds, and it's now a low pressure area, 99W, with low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone, and it is expected to move west-northwest towards the coastal waters of Vietnam, so this is nothing to worry about. And we have another one here, 98W. This is something that we are going to observe in the coming days for possible development into a tropical cyclone or tropical depression within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Some of the models intensifying it within the next 24 hours. So far, it's still organizing. During the evening, there are some improvement of the uh, circulation. Right now, it's uh, still low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. It's still outside of par, roughly uh, 300 kilometers to the east. And uh, like I said, we have a monsoon trough here across uh, central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila, um, Visayas, Mimaropa. Sulu Archipelago and Mindanao. So what do we expect under the monsoon trough? Good weather in the morning, but in the afternoon and evening we expect some rain showers and thunderstorms. So it's just the usual uh, uh, onset of the rainy season for the type 1 climate of the Philippine Islands, those areas along the western sections of uh, Luzon and Visayas, Mimaropa, and also in the other portions of the country which uh, the dry season has ended. In some areas, like the Bicol region, here in Kamarili Sur, Naga, we have dry season from March, April, May, and right now it has ended because of the passage of uh, uh, Super Typhoon uh, uh, Betty within the PAR and the onset of the monsoon and the every afternoon rainfall or uh, evening rainfall that we are experiencing during the past uh, days. Uh, triggered uh, Pagasa to replace our country under the uh, wet season or rainy season which begins usually last uh, weeks of uh, May or June and this will uh, uh, persist until uh, likely by uh, October okay and uh, the cool dry season will again uh, push through by November until uh, February of next year and since we have El Nino, it doesn't mean that uh, our country will have be going uh, right away into drought conditions. But the onset of the southwest monsoon and these tropical uh, low pressure systems, typhoons in the future, during the next few months, we expect uh, more rainfall. Just the usual uh, wet weather during this uh, time of the year. 
And Pag-asa also announced last week that uh, on the average, the uh, forecast uh, scenario for this year, uh, which is an uh, El Nino year, we expect more than uh, 20 tropical cyclones entering the Philippine area responsibility, around 20 or more. In the Western Pacific, we are uh, actually more than 20 uh, tropical cyclones, up to uh, 27 or 30, so it's quite uh, higher compared to the past uh, few years because we have uh, La Nina. So here's the uh, fast animation. You can clearly he see here the uh, circulation of the LPA improving, especially on the eastern side. The LPA is somewhere here, but it looks like the circulation is elongated. More cloudiness to the east and a few ones here to the uh, west. And uh, if we take a look at the zoom in solar animation, there are lots of scattered thunderstorms across the country this evening, beginning around uh, 5 p.m. onwards, but some are dissipating. But there are still some very small thunderstorms all across the country. So expect rain showers and thunderstorms in some areas of the uh, Philippine Islands. Now, what about the rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days? This is the forecast until Wednesday. So we could expect more thunderstorms all throughout the country because of the monsoon trough. This is the monsoon trough. Okay. And this is the uh, low pressure system that's beginning to form. Let me put it here. So here and another one here. Okay. So this two is likely to move generally towards the west-northwest based on the steering pattern to the north and no landfall is expected yet based on the uh, forecast models they are all going to uh, move away from the country this one 98w will move towards this direction so nothing to worry about we only have this monsoon trough and the possible enhancement again of the southwest monsoon across the western sections of the country. But uh, we, we are still observing what will be the uh, output of this uh, southwest monsoon. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, pressure forecast from the European and the American model. Now if we take a look at the uh, European model, it shows here tomorrow Monday, that's the LPA becoming active Tuesday. It's already here, becoming a tropical depression, Tuesday through Wednesday, and then uh, it could become a tropical storm here, Wednesday through Thursday, and it is uh, it's likely to enter par, and on Friday it will start to move towards the north, Saturday still moving towards the north, northwest, northward, and another LPA will form will fall here, or the other or the existing one, 99W, we still don't know if that 99W will dissipate, but uh, in the forecast model, it will, and another one will form here to the west of the Philippine Islands, that based on the uh, European model, Monday, 12th of June, likely to become a depression west of uh, Batanes, and uh, this is the uh, 98W uh, moving out of the Philippine area responsibility, and on Tuesday, June 13. Uh, the LPA-98W is already outside of par, it's a tropical storm, tropic, another tropical storm here, traversing uh, Taiwan, and we could have the uh, enhancement of the southwest monsoon across western sections of northern and central Luzon, including Batanes, Babu, and Krupp. So that's the forecast from the European model. Now, on the American model, it shows that uh, 98W is likely to reorganize more to the east, and it won't enter par. Okay, it will just move towards the north to Sunday next week. Okay, and then that's it. No uh, entrance within the par based on what the American model is saying. But the other one is likely to enter par via Taiwan since the Philippine area responsibility is... Uh, is capturing also the part of Taiwan. It is not, this is uh, necessarily not a uh, territory, okay? Not a political territory. It's only a uh, forecasting territory because when a storm is stirred, signal, uh, storm signals or wind signals are being hoisted over 
the northern portions of Luzon because of its wide circulation. And that's why the Philippine area of responsibility also includes Taiwan because its closeness to Batanes will still affect the island. Okay, so that's the uh, scenario that we are looking into uh, the first to second uh, weeks of June until Independence Day, until ID 13, okay, or ID 12, sorry, until ID 12. So uh, watch out for more updates on these two low pressure systems that we are currently observing. But the good news, there's no landfall whatsoever across the Philippine Islands. And we are still observing if the southwest monsoon will be fully enhanced. But if the one to the west of Luzon develops, it will uh, really uh, affect the western sections of the country. From uh, western uh, sections of Ilocos down to uh, Mimaropa, including Metro Manila, will be affected by this uh, southwest monsoon. So there you go. That's our more than 10 minute update. And we will uh, uh, return again on Tuesday, if not tomorrow. It depends on the development of LPA 98W if it does intensify into a tropical depression. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all. Uh, have a great have a great evening, stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel.